Hello there, killer awesome truckers. Shep is here with you. And I've got a, after a couple of months of, well, waiting, not really waiting, I don't know, <laughs> waiting until I was ready, I <laughs> got a load that we're going to be uh, picking up. So there's a truck assigned to me. Uh, it is a trailer that is on the verge of getting towed. <laughs> it's a swift trailer that's on the verge of being towed because I guess it's been sitting there too long and we'll get to that <laughs> so let's take a look and see because we're going to head there first okay so it's a pilot that's not too far from the Phoenix uh, Swift terminal you can take a look at it here look at the how tight the parking is the reviews of this place is just bad. It's trashy. Uh, there's like security that has to walk around. It's not a good area of, of the Phoenix. I guess that is Phoenix. It's kind of close to a couple of other <clears throat> places like Tolleson. It's like close to Tolleson. But yeah, this is not a great uh, truck stop. So <clears throat> what we're going to do... I am going to drive uh, to the pilot and park and uh, do a goal. <laughs> Get out and look. I want to see where this trailer is at. And because they're, they, they're, they're giving me a trucker with a sleeper. Why? I don't, I don't need a trucker with a sleeper. I don't need a trucker. <laughs> I don't need a truck with a sleeper. <laughs> That's a whole nother show. <laughs> Don't need a trucker with a sleeper. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I just like, you're going to give me a day cab or, you know, oh, no, we're just going to give you a, a regular truck with a, with a sleeper. Why? Probably need something smaller to get that thing out. I don't know, but let's go take a look. Okay. We are here at the pilot. Wow. Got to remember this for the future. Usually this thing is backed up into the street because you go in there. And you come through here but wow this is actually it's like about eight in the morning this is actually not a bad time to come through here <laughs> this is the best i've seen it actually not that i hang out here this is a horrible truck stop but anyway uh we're gonna go in here and we're gonna try to find uh that trailer i'm all the way in the back I don't see it yet. <laughs> Maybe they towed it. <laughs> oh, come in. That would be so funny. Ah, oh, here I am. Take it away. <laughs> it was already towed. <laughs> it's not too bad right now. There's actually places you can park. Have to keep that in mind. You see, my my big question is. Why is it here? The terminal's not that far away. It's only like a two or three miles. So why is the Swift trailer here and not back at the terminal? Makes you wonder. <laughs> so there's the Landstar. I am not, oh, there, see that? Okay, that's kind of like what we're going to have to do. You're going to have to pull all the way up. But yeah, it looks like there's enough room. It's not as bad as I thought. There's another empty trailer. It's not Swift. Where's old Swifty Swift? <laughs> I'm looking for Swifty Swift. I think I found it. Yep, this is it. Man, there's like room behind too. Yeah, I think I'll be able to get this out. It's like, what the hell is it doing here? And my question, how long has it been here? Tire sim, okay. Yeah, 
it's in a reserved spot that might explain why oh yeah this thing is empty okay I think this is very doable so all right time to head over to the terminal I gotta talk with my sort of kind of drive a leader <laughs> I'm not sure who I fall under anymore uh, I got to get a timesheet and then uh, get the truck <laughs> got the key what kind of truck is it gonna be is it gonna be a Freightliner is it gonna be a piece of crap international Maybe it'll be a Volvo. I haven't driven one of those yet. Or it'll be a Kenworth. I haven't driven that since, like, when I was with that asshole mentor <laughs> to, for, for flatbed. <laughs> uh, seems like so long ago. <laughs> Good. Because <laughs> if it felt like yesterday, that'd be horrible. All right. The gentleman said it's going to be... Well, over here somewhere. This is it. <gasps> it's a Freightliner. Yes. <laughs> it is white. It's a 2021 too. All right. We're here. And there's nothing next to me. <laughs> it's going to be easy getting this thing out. Oh, man. So I had to get myself out of drive and put myself into off because I'm hooking this thing up or, you know, whatever. Uh, I had like 68 <laughs> logs to certify. <laughs> uh, it's been almost three months. <laughs> I thought it was a couple, but then I had came home in December and I didn't drive after that. So yeah, that's been almost three months. All right, man, let's get this done. That truck right there at the green light, he went through this red light right here. I mean, literally went through the red light. It turned red, and he just went right through. That's not how you trucker, bro. <laughs> Here I am. Woo! That took about an hour and a half. <laughs> how much did it pay? I don't know. Probably five bucks. My, uh, <laughs> uh, with my regular job now, my boss, I told my boss I was, gonna go out and do something uh, a load uh, and he said oh you're gonna make yourself some extra scratch huh and I said <laughs> I I'm like oh uh, yeah about enough to scratch my butt with <laughs> uh, so I'm just kind of showing you because uh, I, I know some of you are gonna ask oh show me the inside of your truck well here it is all right and there is... Oh, I got a refrigerator! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I didn't think I had one. Yay! Well, that means I can, like... Take a load to Vegas or something. And I, I, I've, I've got my refrigerator. <gasps> cool! <laughs> I gotta tell you, folks. I like being in the truck. And I like the driving part of it. It's kind of relaxing, uh, kind of. <laughs> if, if there's not other truckers on the road flying by me at 80 miles per hour, it's kind of relaxing, you know? I mean, you're just being out in the open road, just kind of driving. It's just you and the road. Sort of. <laughs> like I said, some of those other drivers out there, you know, they want to rip on Swift, right? Okay, backing, all right. Yeah, okay, we got a lot of backy accidents. But as far as accidents on the road, man, I'm seeing like FedEx and Prime. I, I don't mean Prime, Prime, Prime. I mean Amazon Prime. I see them in more accidents than anyone else. Uh, and then other issues I see being caused by flatbedders uh, and just... Uh, like owner operators or small companies or stuff like that so they want to rip on swift when it comes to backing okay all right I, I, i'll go with you on that 
The other stuff, nah. Sorry. I mean, in the two years that I was doing OTR, um, I didn't really see anything with Swift. The only time I really ever seen anything with Swift was like on video clips when there was like a pile up, you know, and they were kind of way back. I think there might have been one where they weren't in front, but they were kind of close, but still. And I know some of you are like, only two years, that's not a long time. It's not about how long it is. It's about the percentage and the time that I've been out, how many times that I see a Swift truck in an accident. Didn't really say anything, so yeah. You know, like I said, backing—that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> I know because I know they have accidents at Swift, and I think they're mainly backing. But there have been some times where they, you know, they don't know how to drive in the winter. It's not like they're trained. Uh, I know from experience. I had to learn on my own. Uh, but you know, they hit black ice or something and jackknifed, and so I mean that does happen. I just, I haven't seen anything out on the road. So I'm not saying that Swift isn't in accidents on the road. I'm just saying I don't see as many out there. You know, everyone, oh, it's always Swift. No, it's not always Swift. I mean, there's there's a lot of other ones. And I know, I know you real truck drivers out there know that FedEx and Amazon Prime are two of the worst. They are two of the worst. So, die. Ah! <laughs> gotta go turn this paperwork in I got sad news folks I can't keep the truck <laughs> I can't keep it you bastards <laughs> it was it's an, it's, an, it's not not a bad truck it's a, it's a nice truck uh it's kind of kind of inter interesting going back to a white truck it's what I started off with except it was an international <laughs> <laughs> this was a freight liner. It was nice. It, it drove okay, and it's got a refrigerator. I'm bummed. I'm bummed. So, I was like, you yeah, know, this wasn't too bad. You know, I might do another load next month or something. Ah, screw that. No, I don't know. I might, I might still do it. This is kind of a trial run. I wanted to see how this went. And this actually didn't wasn't too bad. How much am I getting paid? I don't know. I'll get back to you. Swifty Swift drivers. I don't think you're going to be doing any fueling here at the terminal. They got it blocked off. Guess they're working on the pumps or something. All right. So I don't know how much I'm earning for that load yet. Uh, guy was not at his desk. So, um, maybe by the time I get home, I'll find out how much it is. <laughs> and maybe not. They might be saying, hmm, what are we going to pay this guy? Hmm. I don't know. I think I should get a bonus. Honestly, I think I, I think I should get a bonus because that trailer is about to be towed. Right? It would have cost them more money. I think I should get a bonus. What do you think? I'll probably just get enough money that will pay for the gas that it took to get out here. <laughs> Uh, I had to make a stop <laughs> to get a little little food. Okay, so uh, the driver leader whatever got back with me. So they're paying me twenty five bucks for that load. Twenty five bucks. So what? Uh, how much is that? Uh, two divided by. Uh, so I, I, I'd spent about an hour and a half, so I made, <laughs> let me use a calculator, I can't think, $16 an hour, <laughs> and let me show you the gas that it took me to get, to get out there. Okay, so when I left, it was just below half a tank, that's how much gas it took for me to get back. Uh, close to home. I'm not home yet, but I'm almost home. That's how much gas I spent. So what? I don't know. Maybe it might have been five bucks or ten bucks worth of gas. I don't know. So, woohoo! Yeah, just like my my boss at my new job said, 
So you go, you're making some scratch, right? It's about enough to scratch my ass, yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm home, and uh, <laughs> um, is this still worth it? I, <laughs> do you trucker, bro? I, <laughs> for 25 bucks. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, hey, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's video material, right? I'll probably make more money on this video than I will at that delivery. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad, isn't it? One of those New York videos that I did for Trucker Talk, uh, I made like 50 bucks for that. I made 25 for this. <laughs> and for, for this load. So, I don't know, I might be able to make some of my money back <laughs> with this video. So, hey, with that in mind, uh, thumbs up, subscribe, uh, tell as many people as you can about this video. Hey, man, help me out because Swift didn't want to pay me jack. <laughs> but with you folks, well, all you got to do is watch the video. Watch, watch, watch the video. Watch it more than once. Uh, and then I'll, I'll make money off of the ads and stuff like that. And uh, uh, I'll at least be able to break even. <laughs> Oh, I am so glad I don't have to rely on trucking for money anymore. <laughs> oh, man, this was just... This was pathetic. They didn't have anything else. This is all they had. They couldn't find anything except for this, so... Either they don't want to give me anything, or freight is that bad. Or a little bit of both. <laughs> all right, anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll see you on another Trucker Talk video. Or just another video, because I have a lot of them on the channel. Have a killer awesome day.